Oh, wait, wait. Hold that fish. Well, I'm well, and uh, unfortunately, I am here, so we don't know how this is going to turn out. Hey, hey. But I brought you this time. You did, you did. Resident expert. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> but, you know, uh, I feel like I'm cursed, so... No, you're not. Here we are. This is a, this is a lake that has rainbow in it. What do, what do we know about rainbow? What do we need to know? Talk well, about fishing for rainbow. One thing about rainbow, you, if you're going to be out in early in the morning, they, they like to tend to stay close to shore off the rock. You want to be in... Uh, five feet sometimes even less than that get in really shallow because that's where they tend to sit and feed early early in the morning and then uh, towards the afternoon they like to move out and you'll be looking at about 10 12 feet sometimes maybe even a little bit deeper and then after noon almost early supper time they tend to move back in again so I feel that the time of the day right now they've actually moved out a little bit I drilled four lines four holes right from uh, shoreline and I got all four different depths, right? So I can I can take my flasher out now and I can check every four holes and see what's going on. So if I have nothing happening here, I'll take my flasher and I'll go to, I'm sorry, I'm just keeping my hand. I'll go to the next hole or I'll go out and leave a little bit deeper, even though if I don't even have a minnow out there, I'm still looking to see what's going on out there. We're using minnows? Uh, yes. On what, jigs? Yeah, we're using small chubs. Um, yeah, so we got some jig, jig line, just actually some number 10s and uh, I got one with a number 12 uh, Gamagatsu hooks. Right on. Yeah, and then I got uh, one lure that I'm working right now is a buckshot lure, small, really tiny one. Right on, we got a few people out here in the lake. Yeah, there's uh, a lot of action coming which, which is good, I mean, it, it, I guess it... But the thing about, the thing about Rainbow is uh, it's a little bit different than Specs and that is that they, they don't like a lot of noise. So if you hear that auger going off right now, Usually they tend to quieten up for a little while after the augers. So I just drilled a few holes. I don't it'll be know, a little it'll, bit. It'll be a little bit quiet probably, but uh, we'll work the holes. See what happens. No, it's good to, uh, uh, you know, it's an easy access lake. So yeah. I think that's part of the issue. Uh, so you know, you drive you up, take a little trail in. Whenever you get a lake that's easy accessible, you'll see a lot more people out. So, and hey, you know what? It's great to see a lot of people out here on a beautiful day like today. The time of the day that we got on the lake is a little bit late. Normally I like to be on a little bit earlier than this, but uh, so when I came out, I actually, I seen that group across the way there and on the right hand side. So naturally I went to the left. So we'll see what happens, Doug. Uh, it's a beautiful day anyways, and we can get out fishing, you know? Fantastic to be out here. Yeah, we'll try our best. And we got some company today. Yeah, let's meet them. Yeah. Ray, people know you from the Duke Lake video. Yes. Where we went we're canoeing, back. camping, we're back together. We weren't successful fishing there, but maybe today we'll have a little bit more luck. You know what? We gotta try, right? That's right. What have you been up to? Uh, keeping busy? Uh, not too much. Unfortunately, you know, lots of things are shut down, so. Yeah, that. You know, uh, signing up for Amazon Prime Video. <laughs> yeah. Watching a lot, a lot of, of TV. Quick binging. Exactly. You do what you gotta do to get through the day. Well, it's been one of those. Uh, as we all know, it's that kind of year that uh, things have been tough for everybody and no different, but it's nice to get in the outdoors. It and uh, Yeah, we you know, picked a good day to do this. Absolutely. And uh, you know, with everybody on the ice, we can all social distance, so not a big deal. Yeah, that's right. Right on. All right. <laughs> Let's see how this works out. Catch me a fish. <laughs> I'll do my best. <laughs> Fluffy. What's going on? Oh, you're camera shy. Camera shy. <laughs> <laughs> hey, buddy. 
Hey, yeah. Todd, no pressure. Oh, never. <laughs> <laughs> Setting things up. Uh, I know you're putting a couple lines in for me. Uh, you got a homemade rig there, I see. Yeah. So what is it? Uh, what does it consist of? So just any scrap piece of wood. I've got a couple uh, little eye screws there that you got to make sure the line can go through it. Uh, these ones I actually had to snip a bit just so I can fit the line. So it gives a little bit more support. You put one up at top as well. And this is just a normal doorstop spring. You Love take that. The top off and a wooden dowel. So the whole thing, the the reels maybe five bucks. So that's a router reel on there. Yeah. Yeah. And other than that, uh, two door springs for your, what maybe two dollars. And what I like about the door spring is when you you feed your line down right, you see when it hits bottom, and then that way it comes up so you know you're how far you're off up a foot off or bottom. two off bottom, which is kind of ideal. Or Absolutely. If there's a lot of mud or weeds. You know, and you're too low, uh, middle can kind of... And what's great about these, you don't have to babysit them. Yeah. No, and uh, you loosen that, so if they pull it, it would just kind of... And you'll hear the rattle. Right on. You can adjust whatever levels you want. If you want a jig, you just touch the door spring. And there we go. Yeah, that's about it. So what's your uh, prediction? I mean, we got to do better than we did at, at Duke. We didn't even get a bite. Well... My prediction is we won't do worse. <laughs> <laughs> yes, Todd, you always bring a dose of realism to everything. <laughs> that wasn't optimistic? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I guess it was for today. <laughs> All right, buddy. We'll right, catch man. up with you in a bit. Guys, I know it's hard to believe, but I am back ice fishing, and I vowed that if I don't catch anything today, or we don't catch anything as a group, I'm never going to ice fish again. <laughs> well, maybe I will, but you know what? I got to keep going. I'm bringing different guys out. I'm doing whatever it takes. Uh, a last minute addition was Jamie because he was he was actually supposed to be busy this weekend, so it was great to have him out. He's my ace in the hole, so uh, no pressure, Jamie. Uh, but anyways, uh, I was going out with different people just to see, you know, maybe they have better luck. Maybe they're doing something different. Maybe they're doing something unique. I don't know, but we're gonna see. But I am I am back uh, ice fishing. I, I didn't think I was gonna be after the last video, but you know what? I'm gonna keep trying, and maybe this is the time. Jamie, what's going on here? You got a fish? No, I snag bottom. <laughs> I'm not even kidding you. Look. How do you snake bottom ice fishing? I don't want to break. Uh, I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have to break my line, but I'm trying to see if I can bring it up. Yeah. Man, I end up breaking my line. Yeah, I don't have many options. Oh my god, it's coming up. No. Yeah, it's a branch. I'm gonna have to move holes. I'm gonna have to drill. Yeah, that's hole. not a not a good hole, eh? Unfortunately. This is very strong ice fishing line. I'm gonna have to end up just cutting the line, I think. It's, last thing you wanna do is wrap your hand in this line. It's yeah, you need to cut your hand? It'll rip your line, yeah. This shit's very, there it is. I think I did. Oh, yeah. there you go. I did. Those gamma gatsu hooks, well, I bent it though. So see how it's bent like that? Yeah. I'm gonna have to actually take that off there now. Put a new one on. So, so that's obviously a, a treble hook? Yeah, that's a uh, that's number twelve Gamagatsu. I'm gonna have to take that off there and put something else on. But I'm going to uh, say no to this hole. And anybody else that wants to try it, <laughs> bad hole, bad juju on that hole. <laughs> yeah, like literally, I just dropped that line. So we're gonna say no to that one. Ray, <laughs> so we got we got a nibble over there. Uh, what happened? I'd love to reincarnate you know, the action that all took you gotta place. Do is but... run over there. That's all you got to do. So you ran over there. That's right. <laughs> what, what happened when you ran there? Uh, Give us a play by play. Yeah, so obviously, you know, wanted to see if there was anything on that line. And unfortunately, it took off already, I guess. So, all right. But it's a good sign that there's actually it's fish a in the lake. It's a good sign that we got a strike. Jim, what are you, what are you using there for uh, fish finder? Uh, Garmin Flasher. How's that been to uh, Has it been good to you? I remember using it uh, in March. Yeah, the one thing I really enjoy about this, uh... We got an action over there? Uh, yeah. <laughs> I can hear it. Uh, that middle is very lively, so... Anyways, uh, yeah, the one thing I do like about this Garmin is, uh... It's portability. It's real small. It's right. handy. And, uh, the battery lasts forever. It gives you my depth. Water temperature. How many volts? So this is really key because you can keep your eye on that through the day. And I fish with that all day long. And I'm telling you, man, it lasts all day long. So you, you uh, recommend it then? Oh, highly, highly, yeah. It's a Garmin Striker 4. There's a couple of reasons why I bought this one. Um, it's very portable. 
it's small it's not a great big honking thing small battery but the battery lasts forever doug like i mean easily a whole outing for a day ice fishing no problem and it's affordable like i mean you could pay three four six seven hundred dollars for flashers out there some of the some of the higher end ones but you know what they all do the same thing this uh garmin was like 160 bucks off amazon does the same thing as those four five six hundred dollar ones right on and it's a lot more portable too so yeah big fan of this one Ready to clean out some holes? Thanks, bud. Hmm? <laughs> Alright, there you go. We'll give it to Todd. <laughs> Come here, Phil. Come on. Come on. Come on. <laughs> Toddy got some action here. Perfect. Hey. Little rainbow? Oh, Fluffy wants some. Well, we're not skunked. I am so happy about this. Get out of here. We don't want to get hooked. There. Yeah, it looks like just a little rainbow. Nice. Good yeah. job, Todd. What a boy. There you go. I thought maybe there was a house on fire. <laughs> <laughs> Fluffy likes them too. Oh, Fluffy, get out of there. <laughs> hey. There he goes. Yeah, some juice in them. We were successful on this trip. I will not be retiring from ice fishing because we caught one baby <laughs> uh, rainbow. But you know what? It was a lot of fun. Yeah, I'm planning a new trip shortly. So. Oh, yeah. Yeah, we're planning, uh, always, we're always planning something uh, more interesting and more fun, I think. Uh, Todd was the big winner. Uh, he caught the. Uh, the fish today so kudos so to get, him he gets to carry our shit back home <laughs> it's, uh, it was a nice day it was uh you know it's uh, relatively warm out here a little bit of cool breeze but it's nice. like it's minus nodding. five or something like yeah. that yeah yeah you yeah. don't find a much better day to yeah. ice fish so it's perfect nice. day to come ice fishing again we're at a lake that's uh it's fairly common so there are a few people out here but that's cool too there's there's definitely some fish here there and, is uh, wish there's a little bit more action but uh you know, yeah, I think we needed to get out here a little bit earlier and uh, maybe spot some different areas. Because I'm not retiring from ice fishing, you will see another ice fishing video on this channel. <laughs> I don't know. I'm I, like, I'm just happy we got one, which is better than the last time, which was none. But That's right. Yeah. Anyways, uh, thanks right to direction. you guys all coming. I think the curse is over. Uh, thanks for watching. Give us a thumbs up, boys. Thumbs up. Thumbs up. <laughs> Subscribe if you haven't. We're on social media. We're on Instagram, Twitter, uh, Facebook. And we have a website, ptlodoors.com. See you on the next one. Take care. <laughs> Cheers. <laughs> All right. All right. Fish on. <laughs> yeah.